Alright, and we return to finish Yomo Ware. Hopefully the game doesn't crash, I'm at the last section, we'll see how everything goes. Sorry I couldn't finish it earlier like I planned to, but alas. Some stuff came up, and uh, now we're back. Most likely, as I said before, I'm going to do like uh, maybe a single arena run in Hearthstone, or just get a few quests done. Because uh, why not? I'm going to probably play it anyway, just because I think my quest log in that game is full. Um, Alright. So last time I went all the way uh, to that to that road by the vacant lot, and then I got to the last boss, and then it crashed on me. So, we will see what happens this time. Hopefully no crash. Crashed right at the um, save point, I believe, which was awful. Um, yes, is there one I can move that's closer to that lot? Yes, that's a bit closer. Let's go up there. Hey, Gumbo Pop, nice to see you. We are apparently in the very last zone of this game. Um, or we're going to be getting to the last zone, I think. So, I don't know how long that's going to be. Maybe an hour? We'll see. Maybe less? It depends how much I die, I guess. Last time I triggered uh, a headless horse, uh, which was pretty cool. Hopefully it happens again. Have I not even been to the pond? You know what? Just a second. Before I go to the last level, let's see if I actually have access to the pond because uh, I have not been there and it sounds pretty nice. Barely squeaked by that. Torn rope, torn rope, torn rope. Yep, have not been here yet. Oh, that is a new enemy, a jellyfish. Mummy, a mummy. It's a pretty pond, but it's dark now, so I can't really see anything. It's really scary. Well, I guess that's about it. It's just a just a little area with collectibles and a pretty cool jellyfish with a face. That jellyfish has a face. Let's get out of here. Um, mummy. A small mummy. It has a beak and it also has fins. I want to see the original form. So it's like a merman mummy. A very old and beat up rope. It's torn so it's shorter. Alright. Let's get out of here. The audio, the game audio is so ridiculously loud right now. Alright. So yeah, I believe, I believe I trigger like a headless horse here. That's what happened last time. It's very, very strange. What is this? Blackboard racer found. I didn't find that last time I was here. Unique ball. Oh. Okay. Well, that's. That's a thing. A blackboard eraser from school. How did it get out here? And what was that other thing? Unique bottle. A weird bottle. The color, shape, and the marble inside makes me feel nice, though. Oh, it's a Ramune bottle. I love Ramune. All right, enough of that. Let's 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 get going. Human bone. Oh, there was no horse this time. That's weird. I did not trigger that headless horse. I guess if you guys missed that, you can uh, watch the last stream session I did. That's very odd. 
quick save complete. And then if I remember correctly, there's just a very, very long stretch of road until we reach the tunnel. Something threw a rock at me. I feel like there's some like little rock throwing ghosts I haven't seen yet. That or just we never see it. And it's just something throws rocks from the distance. So the hands do seem to be helping me here because uh, later we meet a monster that fights the monster that's been chasing us. And it is a giant hand. Ooh. What is that exclamation mark? Toy bone. Yes, lift up the charm, make it brighter. monster that I thought died earlier chases us, unless it's actually just um, another one of those. And there's that hand. And they fight. So it clearly like looks at me and it's kind of unclear whether it's looking at me to like get me or not but it, it looks like the hand is uh protecting me now we're coming up to the point where my game crashed last time so uh right here <laughs> No crash, no crash, that's good. And we are in the thick of the grass. We are way out here. It would be so funny if like, there's not even an area here, the game just pretty much ends. I mean, it wouldn't be that funny, it means I split the stream up into kind of bad chunks, but that's fine. Another Jizo statue. This is just past here. You know what? How many coins do we got? We got seven coins, so we may as well go ahead and save. Oh, I can I? Yeah, there we go. Can I uh travel home right now? I uh, I can't warp here though. So uh wait, hold on a second. Yeah, it seems like I can't warp here, so uh, let's just hope the game doesn't crash. Right now, like, the biggest fear I have is the game crashing rather than um, anything's popping out and scaring me, but... Ooh, okay. Okay, so... That was a close one. Apparently the hand ghost's not necessarily good after all. Jeez, gotta get to this one fast enough. So this is kind of just a this is just a speedrunning section. Light the shrine, keep those things dead. Light the shrines fast enough to uh, keep the hands away. Where's the next one? Oh, it's way over there. There we go. Oh, the hand from before. Oof. Up, down, let's go up. Oh, oh, jeez. 
I do not see a shrine. I do not see a shrine. Oh, it's all the way over there. Ugh. So I got, I got a zigzag, it looks like. It looks like they were missing me when I was zigzagging. Yeah, I just started running straight for it. Um, that was a bad idea. Uh, all the hands from before seem to be gone, so that's kind of weird. Maybe I should take the alternate path this time, because I didn't go down. Let's try going down. That's just another statue. Oh, it's a it's a save point. That would have been uh, that would have been nice to save before. Oh well. Well, I'm glad I saved. All right, let's do this. Got to zigzag it. Gotta manage my stamina wisely and zigzag past the hand. Okay, I think I got this. I thought I had this. <laughs> and there we go. Got it. Oh, and it's continuing. Oh, it's still going after me. Just got a zigzag. Zigzags. Oh, I was right there! You guys saw that shrine? Oh. I didn't see the shrine until it was too late. I should have started matching X earlier and made like a more direct route to it. Like, literally, when I saw the shrine, I, I was dead. There's only so many times I can die to this before I get the muscle memory for it down. It's like very subtle. The dodging is very, like, the subtlest movement can make you completely uh, dodge the enemy or not. Or not. That wasn't very, that wasn't a very subtle uh, fuck up. That was just a normal screw up. Uh, I wonder if I have set the record of the person of the person to die the most at this game. Why am I so bad? It almost looks like they have a predetermined route they go- no, I was about to say, it almost looks like they have a predetermined route, but no, it does look like they just kind of follow you after um, you get past that first corner. It's just about managing stamina, really. I'm sorry. I was so close that one time. I feel like I get worse the more I play. Ugh. 
Okay, I think I had to bait the hand out more. Uh, try to cross by it when it was too narrow. Yeah, seriously, the, these... I thought they were my friends. <laughs> I thought the hands for a little while were my friends. They were guiding me. The hand fought that other monster. I thought we were bros. I thought we were... I thought we were pals, but clearly not. Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm cutting it so close here. Alright, so let's lure the hand out here. And then as it lunges... Oh, goodness gracious me. There we go. That one went really smoothly. Uh, I hope there's not one more, because... Damn. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's... Oh, no! Oh, no. Okay, bear with me. Bear with me. I think I... I'm gonna... I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna try to focus. I'm gonna try to get through this. We got this. understand that hand. Um, I don't understand what that hand wants. I really don't need my flashlight. I'm just gonna turn it off. Mm. This is a little bit frustrating. This time, I, uh, that time I did it really well, wow. I just have to get past this one. Oh, it's afraid of the- oh! It's afraid of the lantern until I get enough, close enough for it to kill me, and then it's not a- This whole playthrough has just been me, uh, grinding, bashing my head against the brick wall. This is honestly a pretty embarrassing way to start off my stream. Just repetitive deaths over and over and over and over and over. Woof. Just, just making small grunting noises now. Let's just run for it. I'm just gonna run. I don't understand how that hand works. At first I thought you had to bait it out and it wouldn't move, and now I thought maybe if I can just run for it, and that didn't work either. I understand this hand, that second hand I do not understand. This is Yomawari, Lucas, and I am terrible at it. I'm at a... I'm toward the end of the game, and I'm kind of trying to just get past this, like... The, mm, get, get past this hand hurdle! There's three hands! They all want to destroy me, and they're doing a very good job of it so far. not my game. This is not my game. I get worse at it as I go. I get more frustrated at myself. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why am I so garbage? <laughs> Gumbo Pop, I am sorry. You have to see all this. I don't know what happened. I was doing so well.
baited it. Okay, I finally baited it out. Cool. So you can you can just kind of wait it out, apparently. As long as the other little hands aren't chasing you. When they are, it gets a lot more complicated. If my pain brings you pleasure, I'm happy, because at least at least somebody's getting kicks out of this. Honestly, I thought I was going to be dead way earlier on that one. I'm going to turn the light off. I really don't think it does anything, and I seem to do a lot worse with it on. Even though it, like, it's just like, I think mentally, it the light messes me up. Or I'm just looking for scapegoats to blame, even though it's just my fault. Like, there's clearly a way to do it. The game clearly reacts in predictable ways, but if you just... if you just screw it up a tiny bit by, like, a few pixels, it seems like the game changes it up on you. I think it's the fact that there's like, you know, it's not a four-directional game, it's technically eight-directional. Oh god, oh god. Oh, ah! <laughs> I thought that section before where I was trying to get past that, uh, the monster this hand destroyed was bad. Oof. Hey, wait it! Did you see that? Did you see it crawl toward me a tiny, tiny little bit and take a break? And then attack? Wait it again. Like sometimes it charges in right away, sometimes it doesn't. That time it charged in right away. I feel like this is like when I play a Souls game, I feel like I'm learning. Here it feels like it's kind of trial and error. Um, and I, when I succeed, it's just luck. Nothing touched me that time. Uh, that was that was that was some bull honk honky right there. This isn't supposed to be a hard game. Like I, I never heard this game was supposed to be very difficult. It does look like though if you do one good evade, you get like a giant head start on this thing. There we go. First section complete. Bait this one out. Oh. Woo. And it, it just gave up. It doesn't want to chase me anymore. Alright, now here comes the hard part. I had a full stamina meter there. Hopefully I'll make it so I can actually get over here. Trying, trying, trying. Oh, yes. I hope three's the charm. I really hope. Oh, yes. Different area. Whew. Now, all that needs to happen is the game crashes, which makes all my progress invalidated, but I, I think I'd be a lot better at it on the second on the second go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, that was simple. That was simple enough. What's next? Sis? Is it my sister? Is it like actually my sister? 
No, it's, it's uh. That is cool looking. It has bodies like, like the shape of its face is made up of little like human bodies. Oh my god, how did salt? Do I throw salt? I have a limited amount of salt. Matches? No. Oh, it's the same as before. I just light the lanterns. I just light the lanterns. Take salt. It does nothing. Wait, did the salt slow down the hand? Oh my god, it looked like the salt slowed down the hand. That or, uh, the hand's just getting stuck on its own. It's very hard to tell for me. Well, whatever, it's not like I'm gonna need the salt for anything else. It, that did look like it worked. How much salt do I have? Two salts. How many more things are there to light? And I am in the middle of nowhere. Damn it. I don't think the salt does anything. Uh, I don't get to keep my items. That's interesting. Oh, they ignore the they ignore the shrine light this time. I can't recover my stamina by just staying by the by just staying by the shrine, okay. I actually have to book it this time and micromanage my stamina very well. Just hit all the points. I assume I can just follow this glowing red uh, trail of uh, whatever the fuck that is. I don't know why I wanted to throw the salt. I just did. Let's go the other way. Yeah, this seemed like the good direction to go. I just completely left those hands in the dust. Well, oh, that one's just hanging out by that one. Ooh, that was sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, I can hide! I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. I can hide. Well, sometimes. <laughs> Try to hide and see what happens. Yeah, I'm West Coast as well. It used to be as far West Coast as you can go because I used to live in Hawaii. Not anymore though, too expensive. I really miss it. It was quite amazing. I hid, and then I accidentally- oh, oh my god! Whoops. Uh, this game gives you no time to wait when you're, uh, after you die. So yeah, I hid, accidentally unhid. That was really stupid of me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Theoretically, this should be very easy, because I didn't realize you can hide before, and it looks like most of the- Most of the danger goes away if you just hide long enough. I was on Oahu, I went to UH. So I lived like in the touristy area. It okay, so if you if you this game has like a it has this function where if you hold X and then uh, if you press X to hide, you hide. But if you press X and then just hold it a bit too long and then let go, it counts that as another button press and I unhid there. 
I think that's what happened, because that looked really weird. Let's light that, and then let's go hide. Yeah, I'm only going to be streaming for, like, this game's almost over. I'm going to stream, like, one arena mode run in Hearthstone, maybe. Maybe just play a few standard matches to clear my dailies, and then that's going to be it for streaming today. Tomorrow, I'll just be streaming uh, Enter the Gungeon, I think, for, I don't know. I don't want to go too long, maybe three, four hours. And then after that, I think I'm just going to stream twice a week. I don't want to stream too much because I still want to work on my YouTube videos. It's just this week, I, uh, I happen to uh, not have to go to work because of a fire in the area. And, uh... That gives me a lot of time to basically be lazy. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, I was trying to clear this whole boss without even hiding the first time. That, uh, I was making it way harder on myself for no reason. I don't even see the hands right now. There they are. last one indeed indeed man that is a cool looking face oh that's awesome okay we're outside a shrine or something my sister Don't die, sis. So, at the beginning of the game, I thought the ghosts were probably in my head, but it seems like this town is actually haunted by a bunch of ghosts and spirits. Let's go home, sis. I'm so scared. I'm so lonely. So, what's going to happen? Is she going to wake up? Uh, Gumbo Pop, yeah, it's the it's the South California fires. I'm in the Orange County area. It's where I lived for like most of my life when I was little, so I just basically moved back here. Or not really little, I guess like high school slash junior high. Oh, ominous. It still remains. Is is there parts of the game left? I am controlling this, but I can only move down. Feels weird. Ooh, is my sister? What the hell? Okay. Did my eye burst, or did I just get a nosebleed? I missed the groping hands, apparently. to turn the light on pressing my flashlight button oh shit uh okay for a second I thought it crashed again is, are we getting backstory or is this a dream sequence I keep fearing the game is crashing, because the game really takes its time with these sorts of sequences, but I just keep... The way the game crashes is the image stops moving, but the sound keeps going, so I guess if the fog stopped, that means that the game would have crashed. Oh. I assume this is like, I could have chosen to die, been with my dog in the afterlife, but I chose to, you know, use that last bit of willpower to come back to the living. That's what that seems like. Oh shit. Was that it? Oh wow, that's quite the ending.
Oh, combo. Sacrificial Coast missed the hands. Okay. Then yeah, what happened with my character was I, I wish, like, I could have full screened this game so I could have seen what happened to her ahead of it more. Like, it looked like she just got a giant streak of blood on her face. Uh, but I wasn't sure if that was for, like, from her eye, from her head, from what. Oof. Yeah, this game has a great soundtrack. I actually, uh, when I bought it on sale, the soundtrack was only, like, 20 or 30 more cents, I think? Maybe the art book, too? So I, um, I think I bought that. Like, whatever the, the bundled stuff it comes with, I, I got both those things, so I'll definitely be taking a look through those. I don't know, maybe I'll use this soundtrack in some of my videos in the future or something. If I ever make any creepy videos. Well, let's stay for the credits. Maybe there's an after credits thinger. And even if not, this is some great piano. Piani. Yeah, the game was surprisingly uh, spooky for how cute it looks, and there's a few times where, like, when you're trying to evade one creature and you don't notice another one, there's a few times it does manage to scare you a little bit, but it's not like... There wasn't really any psychological fear, it was more just like, can I evade this and I don't want to die fear. Um, but it, it was a nice little fun experience. Ooh, that was cool. It may have been a lot more fun if I wasn't so god-awful at it. I cannot believe how many times I've died. I hope that doesn't become like a motto of this channel or like a, my, uh, my catchphrase. I can't believe how many times I died. Ooh, I'm the sister. Or no, am I older? No, I'm the sister. Oh, oh, that's me right there. Okay, that's my sister and me. Yeah, <laughs> an idiot. We're at our dog's grave that I made earlier in the game. So I guess we did get away. Oh, that's nice. I kind of wish there was more to this game. Like, more little scenarios and more of an overarching story, but... I guess it's not in this. <gasps> I did lose my eye! Oh, wow. Jeez. That was my eye that bled or exploded. Okay. Yeah, I also plan to play Lone Survivor, uh, which is... Uh... Oh, if I load up my save, I can talk to my sis? Okay, let's try that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play Lone Survivor, which is also another, like, um, well, this isn't really retro art, but I think Lone Survivor is, what, like, a 32-bit look to it or something? Uh, that one's supposed to be pretty heavy on the psychological stuff, from what I understand. The night is coming to town. It will come even if Sis isn't here, or Poro, or even if I'm not here. The night will come, and the morning will follow, then the night again. Jesus. Wow, look at that skull I found. Holy shit. Just gonna have, <laughs> gonna have a human skull in your room. Oh, and I have an eye patch. Oh, I'm so badass now. <laughs> your left eye, does it hurt? I'm sorry you did that for me. And the Daruma is... If I'm... The Daruma is missing its right eye, if I remember correctly. I guess I'm, I'm missing my left. Thanks for helping me. Wow, so all this shit was real. This is just a horrible town. Filled with horrible things. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Just, uh, why does anybody live here? Okay, well, I didn't get 100% of the items, but... That's fine. This was a fun experience. Uh, let's see if my sister has anything else to say, because I actually realized I maybe didn't exhaust her um, dialogue route. You pick up a lot of stuff. Don't take anything that's not yours. You're going out again? Come home soon. I worry about you. Should I buy some, should I buy some new shoes? Yeah, probably. That's cool. So you can just look... I feel a presence when I'm in this room. Mm. Oh yeah, the ghost from earlier. It left me a uh, left me a note that helped me. It doesn't seem evil. Oh, I guess we have like a guardian ghost. That's cool. Why does this town have so many spirits? Why indeed? 
Well, it seems because like a lot of people died here because I haven't seen <laughs> I haven't seen another single human that's alive. So I think it has a lot of people because uh, everyone's dead. That lady who went missing in the rice field turned up dead. I heard her corpse was found and sent back to her family. They arrested the murderer too. It's kind of relieving, is it? The mountain spirit that took me away was supposed to be a god once. Everyone in the town praised it, but why did it kidnap me? Oh, there was some, um, yeah, there was a, like a newspaper clipping about a festival in the mountain, in the, a festival for the mountain god or something like that earlier. I wonder if there's like some other bits of lore I missed in the items. I don't have to be scared of that spirit anymore. Downtown is going to be totally bulldozed before winter. Huh? Will the shrines downtown be taken down too? Will the shrine downtown be taken down too? Yeah, it looks like the shrine is going to be taken down too, which uh, I wonder what that means for the centipede demon I fought earlier. I wonder if the sequel to this game takes place in this town. Um, I'm kind of curious if the sequel is just going to build on like more lore. That'd be kind of cool. Inside without Poro. Poro wasn't mad, right? No, he definitely was not. He's probably waiting for us in heaven, so let's play with him when we get there. Aww. Take care, go. Your left eye. Okay, so I exhausted all my sis uh, dialogue options. Let's take a look outside real quick just to make every make sure everything's the same as it was. Because I'd like freak out if it's daytime right now or something like that. Nope, still night, still, still horrible, still scary. Uh, let's go home and save, and then I'm going to call it a day for this game. Uh, if you guys want to stay around for a bit of Hearthstone, I'm going to do that just to do some quests. Maybe do one arena run, and then um, that's going to be it for the night. And then I'll see you tomorrow around 10, 10.30, probably at the latest uh, in the morning Pacific Standard Time for Enter the Gungeon. So, going to go ahead and uh, close this game out. Go ahead and stop streaming for a minute. I'll be back in a couple minutes as soon as I get Hearthstone launched. See you guys then, hopefully, if you want to stick around.